So Arzapa sent me this monitor. Yes, they gifted it to me, probably because they saw my channel and thought, wow, this guy has just the right amount of sarcasm and tech rage to represent our brand. And guess what? They were right, because after spending some quality time with the Arzapa Z 1FC 144Hz portable gaming monitor, I have just one thing to say. What the heck is this? Seriously, this thing is so light, thin, and absurdly functional that I thought I'd accidentally unboxed a prop from a Christopher Nolan movie. It's got a 16.1 inch full HD IPS display, a 140Hz refresh rate, and weighs less than the collective willpower of people who promise to just watch one more episode. And the kicker? It costs 129 euros. That's not a typo. When I opened this thing, I expected the usual, uh, maybe a cable or two, a vague instruction manual written in six fonts, and a monitor wrapped in more plastic than a shrink-wrapped banana. But Arzapa actually surprised me here. In inside the box, you get the Arzapa Z, one FC monitor itself, obviously. Sleek, slim, and practically whispering, take me everywhere from the moment you lift it, but then boom, three cables, not one, not two, three. First up, you've got a USB-C to USB-C cable for all the modern tech elitists living that full-function Type-C lifestyle. Next, they threw in a mini HDMI to HDMI cable, because they know half of us are still clinging to legacy ports like their NFTs in 2022. And just in case your setup is still rocking USB-A like it's a museum exhibit, they also included a USB-C to USB-A cable because Arzapa doesn't judge. They enable that sync in. That's thinner than your phone, your patience, and your Tinder matches attention span combined. It also weighs just 1.7 pounds, which makes it lighter than the guilt I felt after not going to the gym for the 94th day in a row. And it's wrapped in this sleek aluminum finish that says, I'm classy, but I also game like I've got revenge in my heart. It comes with a built-in stand too, because apparently Arzapa thought, let's give them every possible feature before Apple patents the idea and sells it for $399. Now onto the part that made my brain short circuit in 144 glorious frames per second, the display, holy pixelated perfection Batman. This thing is packing a 1080p IPS panel with 100% sRGB color gamut, which means your visuals aren't just good. They're so vibrant, it's basically a personal renaissance painting. I booted up a game of Valorant, and the reds popped so hard I felt personally attacked by my own crosshair. Watching Netflix on this monitor feels illegal, like it shouldn't be allowed to look this good on a screen this thin. I'm out here binge-watching sci-fi shows pretending it's for testing purposes, when in reality I'm just marveling at how Arzapai made 1080p feel like 4k if you squint with admiration and zero regrets. Okay, now hold on to your overpriced coffee. 144 hertz on a portable monitor. Let me repeat that slowly for the people in the back, still paying off their 60 hertz Dell 144 hertz portable monitor. I don't know what kind of back alley GPU deal Arzapa made with the gods of fluid motion, but this refresh rate is smoother than a corporate apology email. Scrolling feels like silk. Gaming feels like prophecy. Even dragging folders around your desktop feels like a race against reality. The only problem, my other screens now feel like they're buffering IRL. This refresh rate is so smooth, it could convince a console gamer to finally try PC. It's that deep. Let's just get this out of the way. The Z1 FC doesn't care what device you own. It will connect to it and look good while doing it. PS5? Yep, Xbox, obviously. Steam Deck? Absolutely. Nintendo Switch? Plug it in, baby. Even your phone. Yes, your phone, your iPad, and more supports Samsung Dex. As long as it has a full-featured USB-C port and the will to live, this monitor's got your back. And if you're still using lightning ports, first of all, condolences. Second, yes, it'll still work. With a humble HDMI adapter like it's 2015, 
but hey, it gets the job done and the Arzapa Z1 FC won't judge you for your outdated cable decisions. I will, but it won't. Now look, let's be real. As much as I want to declare this monitor a divine artifact forged in the RGB forges of Valhalla, it's not perfect. First of all, it has no battery, nada, zilch, zero. If you don't power it properly, it'll flicker, scream, and probably haunt your dreams like a cursed Tamagotchi. And yes, you'll need a charger that can actually handle power delivery. You can't just plug it into a dusty USB-A port and expect miracles. You wouldn't feed a lion Tic Tacs and call it lunch. Don't do that to this monitor. Also, if you're connecting it to a switch, make sure to plug in the power separately or you'll be playing Breath of the Wild at one frame per second and crying in 720p sadness. Now, I know why Arzopa sent me this monitor. It wasn't for my unbiased feedback. It wasn't for a balanced review. It was because they knew I would fall in love with it, roast the overpriced competition, and spread the gospel of portable 144 hertz gaming like the unhinged prophet I am. And you know what? Mission accomplished. And I'm giving away a monitor-shaped energy drink that lets you overclog your thoughts. All you have to do is comment, my eyes need this, if you've ever cried in 60 hertz, shame. Bonus entry, if you tag a friend still gaming on a monitor that looks like it was built for Excel spreadsheets and broken dreams. Look, I know what you're thinking. This guy's definitely sponsored. And you'd be wrong. Dis, uh, Arzopa didn't pay me. They just gave me this monitor for free and accidentally created a monster. Because now I can't shut up about it. If they had paid me, I'd be screaming this into a megaphone on a mountain, but they didn't. So I'll just whisper it seductively into the algorithm. You know, this might be the best 129 euros I never spend. I'll drop the link below, not because I'm trying to sell it, but because if you miss this deal and come back when it costs 209 euros again, I will laugh loudly and then cry with you internally in 144 hertz slow motion. So here's the deal. If your setup is crying out for a second screen, a travel display, or just a little extra spice for your battle station, the Arzapa Z1 FC is it. No fluff, no filler, no forced PR language. Just a ridiculously good screen that somehow costs less than it should and performs like it doesn't know its budget. Next week, I'm testing a USB-C hub that claims to make coffee and fix your Wi-Fi. Stay tuned, because if it doesn't work, I'm roasting it harder than your laptop does during a Zoom call. Smash that like button like your frame rate depends on it. And tell me in the comments, which part of this monitor made you go, wait, what? In Dolby Atmos, this has been your controlled Chaos Tech Profit signing off. And yes, I still can't believe this monitor is real. See you next one. Peace out.